Miami-Dade County, under the leadership of Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, is moving swiftly to expand COVID-19 vaccine distribution to protect our community and move our economy forward. Vaccine supplies are currently extremely limited, and as the state provides more vaccines to the county, we are working hard to distribute them as fast as possible. Register for vaccine updates and get more information at miamidade.gov slash vaccine. Get vaccinated, Miami-Dade County. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community. And a very good morning to all of you, and welcome to the University of Miami uh, Frost School of Music, UM uh, Frost Jazz Hour. Every Thursday morning at 11, uh, we bring you a lot of great musicians, uh, whether they're students or faculty from the University of Miami, and past students, as in the case this morning. My name is Maggie Pellella, sitting in this morning for the UN Frost Jazz Hour. And this morning we have a wonderful uh, duo presenting music for you. Uh, that would be Brian Dubrow on guitar and Mr. Marty Quinn on bass. And so it really gives us a lot of pleasure to bring them to you this morning. Uh, Brian and Marty, take it away. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, if you just tuned in, you've been enjoying the University of Miami UM Frost Jazz Hour here on 88.9 FM WDNA and WDNA.org worldwide. My name is Maggie Bayaya, sitting at the host chair this morning. And it's a pleasure to bring you uh, Brian Dubrow on guitar and Mr. Marty Quinn on bass. And uh, good to have you back again. I think you have a microphone somewhere around yes. there, right? I do. All right. Hope it works. It's wonderful to see you again, uh, and Brian. I don't think I've seen you in, well, you were part of the UM Frost uh, uh, little group, uh, the Sextet, right? When you uh, were here? I was. But yeah, you've been here a, a few times here at WDNA? Yeah, I've been here a couple of times, uh, yeah. different groups, different stuff. Yeah, well, you're very versatile in, in your music. Uh, when did you pick up the music? Are there people in your family that are uh, instrumentalists, musicians? Uh, well, my dad plays a little guitar, so he would play you know, when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of how I got started. I just... yeah. He had a guitar lying around, and I would pick it up and try and play it. And then he said, oh, not this one yet, and yeah. gave me a different one. Yeah. Um, and I started learning then. So I was around fourth grade or so. Uh huh. When did you come to uh, South Florida? Uh, I came down here uh, to go to, uh, to attend UM in 2013. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been, been here down, down here since then. Good. And you graduated in, in what, because uh, UM has quite a, a di number of different departments. Uh, which one are you in? Performance? Yeah, I was in the, you know, the jazz studies, uh, you know, performance bachelor's uh -huh. program, graduated 2017. And what have you been doing? I mean, other than performing, because you're performing a lower South Florida as your own musician. You've been, have, you, have you been teaching? Uh, yes, I've been teaching, you know, uh, private students. Um, I teach uh, Saturdays for the community arts program in Coral Gables. And it was, they're involved with WDNA. Yeah, the CAP. Yeah, CAP. So and I've, I've been there for the last few years. Oh, wonderful. Uh, yeah, it's a great program. It's kind of rewarding to be teaching uh, the next generation, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I actually ran into um, the other day a former student there who's now in music school, jazz guitar. That was very cool. Really? Well, it's the same for us. I mean, we see you guys when you started UM at the age of 18 and 19, and now you're all grown men all, all on your own <laughs> as professional musicians. So it's kind of rewarding to see you kind of grow up. Tell me a little bit of what you've played so far. Yeah, so um, the first tune was an old tune, uh, Bag's Groove. Um, and then we're going to do some of my music that I've recently written. So that last tune was uh, called Hard Reset. Um, these are all tunes that I've written just in the last few weeks. Just now that I have more opportunities to play my music, it's more motivating to actually write some music. Um, so I've been getting back into that recently. Good, good, good. All right, we'll continue with the music. What are you going to do next? Uh, let's see. Uh, this next tune is another new one called No Rush But. Okay. No Rush. You're listening to the, to the University of Miami Frost Jazz Hour here on 88.9 FM, WDNA, WDNA.org, and being live streamed as well and archived. So you can go to our archives and see over 500 performances uh, that have been done here in the WDNA Jazz Gallery. So take it away, Brian Dubrow on guitar and Mr. Marty Quinn on bass.
Beautiful. You're listening to the, the UM Frost Jazz Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM. And this morning's uh, wonderful uh, musicians are Brian Dubrow on guitar and Marty Quinn on bass. And we heard a, an original composition by Brian entitled No Rush. And so we have a break coming up, and so uh, stay tuned. We've got more music on the other side at the UM Frost Jazz Hour here on WDNA 88.9 FM. to the UM Frost Jazz Hour on WDNA.org and worldwide, uh, broadcasting on live stream as well. So you can view it and you can hear it on uh, WDNA 88.9 FM. This morning's musicians are Brian Dubrow on guitar and Marty Quinn on bass. And we'll continue with the music.
Well, you're listening to the UM Frost Jazz Hour, and what an appropriate tune, Brian, Alone Together, right? It's kind of like the, the soundtrack of 2020 when people find themselves alone together. Uh, what did you find yourself doing uh, during 2020? Did you find yourself composing more? Uh, I watched a lot of TV. <laughs> um, I didn't really compose a lot. It took me until I had, you know, I'm not, yeah. It took me until I had like opportunities to play music to get to write music. I did learn a lot of music. So I spent a lot of time, you know, transcribing a lot of like bluegrass uh -huh. uh, stuff and guitar players and learning how to actually learn lyrics for once and memorize songs, uh, with a bunch of verses and things like that. So getting, you know, not the stuff that I was doing at, at UM. Yeah. Um, Do you find your approach to teaching a little bit different than w how you were taught? Or are you, find, are you just using the kind of like the same tactics that you were, they were using at UM? Uh, I would say it's, yeah, I think I teach about the same as I was taught because that's just what I know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's what I've been, what I've been exposed to. Um, yeah, I'm sure my teaching style and my playing style is really just a mix, a mishmash of all the teachers I've had and people that I've tried to copy. Good. Are you starting to get out and playing a little bit more now? Here and there. Um, yeah, just still a little bit. Um, it's nice to be able to play to play music, um, playing all sorts of kinds of music too. So playing some jazz and yeah and bluegrass. Um, yeah. Yeah. You play anything other than guitar? Uh, I play banjo, kind of, and mandolin. I'm trying to learn fiddle. Play a little bit of electric bass. I I dabble in a few things. Oh, good. It's good to dabble, right? Good to demo. Well, we're listening to the UM Frost Jazz Hour here on 88.9 FM, WDNA Miami, and WDNA.org. Worldwide, our guests this morning are Brian Dubrow uh, on guitar and Marty Quinn on bass. We'll hear a little bit more music, and then maybe we'll talk to Marty. Don't want to leave him out of the picture, right? What are we going to hear now? Uh, let's see. How much time do we have? Let's do uh, up the ballad. To play a new another new tune of mine called Then Wait. Called what? Then Wait. Oh, okay.
Beautiful, beautiful. That was another original composition entitled Ban Wei. Is that right? Then wait. All right. Then wait, as in you know, do something and then you wait. Okay. All right. Wonderful. You're listening to the UM Frost Jazz Hour here on 88.9 FM WDNA and WDNA.org. I want to take a moment and uh, ask uh, uh, Marty a couple of questions. Uh, he's, uh, I guess you've been playing together for a little bit. Uh, yeah, Marty? actually, um, Brian and I didn't go to school together. He graduated and then I moved here right after that, yeah. um, and we ended up kind of just meeting in town a couple times. Yeah. And I don't know the truth, like the what was going through his head, but uh, he called me for something, you know, in the future with a couple mutual friends, and we had a lot of fun. We found out we have some, you know, taste in music that we both enjoy, and every time I play with him, it's it's very fun. I play with a decent amount of guitar players in town, and I think it's one of my favorite things is that they all have their own flavors to them, mm -hmm. and Brian has some some great <laughs> flavors in there. My good, good. So you you attend the UM also, and you have a master's in jazz pedagogy. Correct. Yes, I have my master's in jazz pedagogy. I was only at UM for two years. Mm -hmm. I came in in 2017, and I graduated in 2019. Okay, yeah. so you have uh, a little bit of improvisation, a little bit of composition, a little bit of... Uh, yeah, they really do a good job of kind of giving you everything in this program specifically. Uh, Chuck Bergeron, previous host, actually runs the program. Right, exactly. And he makes sure that you are a strong musician just on your instrument, you read well, you improvise well, you can write. And then the big part of pedagogy is he has you directing some groups and teaching classes that involve theory and history, all sorts of stuff, sort of just to become a well-rounded player and teacher, really. Yeah, well, you can't have a better mentor on the bass than right. Chuck Bergeron, right? Very true. Well, wonderful. So you have you been composing as well then? You know, I have. I've actually been on here, I guess it was a while ago now, um, last summer, but uh, I did write a bunch of music and, and I did this, but it was much more, it's closer to like a funky jazz kind of thing, and that was what I wrote a while ago, and then that's been on the back burner now, obviously, but uh, planning on bringing it back pretty soon, actually. Right. And you're also teaching, are you teaching at CAP as well? At, at I don't teach at CAP, but I actually teach through Frost's high school program. Ah. They do a, a, Sarah Sauls runs the summer camp. Right. And then they expand it into a weekly lessons type of thing throughout the school year. So I actually teach some rock bands on the weekend. All right. Well, mm -hmm. we, we like rock. We like we funk. Like rock, we like course. a little bit of everything mm -hmm. here. So really appreciate it. So we're, what we're going to hear off next, we have maybe uh, uh, about eight, nine minutes to go. You're listening to the UM Frost at, uh, Jazz Hour here on 88.9 FM, WDNA Miami, WDNA.org. If you want to look uh, through all of the different performances that we've had here at the station, you can go to our uh, live stream uh, archive to watch the video and uh, some uh, on Mixcloud where we have a lot of the programs archived as well. Uh, so uh, keep it up. Keep on tuning in to WDNA. And uh, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll continue with the music. Brian Dubrow on guitar and Marty Quinn on bass.
Beautiful, just beautiful. Uh, Brian Dubrow on guitar. Uh, we've got um, a Marty Quinn on bass here on the UM Frost Jazz Hour in WDNA Miami and WDNA.org. We thank you very much for tuning in. And again, we uh, thank you for checking out WDNA throughout the week. We've got uh, the Latin Jazz Quarter coming up in a moment or so. We've got about maybe three more minutes. Good to kind of end up uh, the hour here. Brian, so uh, take it away, and thank you very much. We hope to see you again soon. Mm -hmm.